Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Cancer, so let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2020. Now your first card in regards to finances and career, you have the Three of Wands. Uh, sorry, the Three of Cups. All right, so... The Three of Cups is all to do with celebratory type of energy, but I feel that this is more to do with uh, not really being very proactive. I, I see you guys more on the lounging. For some of you guys, it could be that you just feel like you're not as focused as usual. Um, it could be like over having too much fun for some of you guys. Um to the point where you're no longer focused or you you aren't focused the way you were initially in the previous months. Um, now, for some of you guys, they are saying there is an opportunity or you're going to find yourself in a situation that you're going to feel like celebrating some type of accomplishment. But at the same time, what they're saying here is for those of you guys that have been putting a lot of work and effort into your career or into your finances, there's going to be opportunities or a feeling of uh, finally something coming through, finally being able to see fruition in your hard work. Now, for those of you guys that have been feeling a little bit unfocused or perhaps not as inspired or maybe even lagging in, you know, really putting your effort and you've kind of, you know, just go on everyday basis type of thing. Be mindful of that type of energy because what they're saying here is it could be that you're not taking things extremely serious at the at this point. And with the energies that we have astrologically, it could impact your finances. So again, uh, whether it's like, as an example, if your career has to do with like going out or promoting or anything like that, it could be that you're taking it that extra notch of parting a little bit too hard. So you don't want it to affect your career. So just be mindful about that. Now, in regards to communication, you have the king of swords. So the king of swords could represent communicating with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Or it could be going to uh, going to get some type of advice or some type of guidance um, from this King of Swords. Now, keep in mind, doesn't have to be a male. It could be a female as well with this type of energy, very authoritative type of energy. And it could be that if you feel like the need to connect with them or to reach out to them to get advice, it could come off as they're being too harsh because they are or they could tell you that they're seeing you as, not necessarily telling you, but the advice that they're telling you is like, hey, wake up, you got to step up your game. And you may see it as like they're seeing you as immature or they're seeing you as, or they're judging you like uh, you're all about having fun and not really focusing or not really busting your ass. And it's not coming from a, it's not coming from a non-loving place. They just want what's best for you. And at this point, I feel that this person's perception of you is you're, you, you don't really say what or you don't really do what you say you're going to do. So, again, it could be harsh type of communication. Now, in regards to the challenge for this month of September, you have the two of swords. So there is a theme here. And I feel that for some of you guys, it could be that sometimes... Uh, Sometimes it could be a bit overwhelming. Now, this is not to say for everyone, but I do feel that the message here is you need to grow. You need to mature in, in, in the sense of taking more responsibility than what you're used to or what you're accustomed to. The two of swords signifies us not wanting to see a habit or something that we do that affects or impacts our finances. So it could be that, yes, you're motivated and you're inspired in the beginning, you know, when you're starting a new project, a new job, etc. But then somehow you get to the point of complacency. Now, with the Two of Swords, you're not wanting to see those, you know, you're not wanting to take that advice because you 
probably feel like it's coming from a very judgmental place. But what Spirit is saying is, no, this person is wanting what's best for you or is wanting to guide you, but they see you as a stubborn person or a person that continues to make the same mistakes in regards to your finances. So be mindful about that, Cancer. Now, in regards to love and romance, you do have the star card here. So the star card could represent having um, having an opportunity to come closer or become closer with your partner, the person of your interest. It also represents a new beginning for some of you guys in regards to love and romance. Now, if you are particularly dealing with an air energy in regards to love, what they're saying here is that there is something in their nature or there's something in how they, you know, approach relationships that you're trying to change. And what they're telling you is that with the two of swords, you got to take the blindfold off. Stop seeing them as how you would want them to see them and see them for what they really are with the good and bad. And are you willing to take them whole or are you trying to fix them or change them? Because if you're trying to fix them and change them, you're being delusional. You're not seeing things clearly. Um, and in retrospect with the star card, what they're saying is it's going to be illuminated, meaning the more you try to change this person, the more they start doing that of what irritates you. Um, and again, we go back to that of the king of swords, having to see things clearly, not from an emotional level, not from what you would want this person to be, but accepting them whole with the good and bad and all in between. All right. Now, spirit's advice for you is the seven of swords. Okay. So again, I don't know why from the beginning when I seen the three of cups, I feel like I felt like not positive three of cups. I feel it more like, you know, lounging is what came to me, being lazy for some. Uh, I know this is not a very direct or not a broad message, uh, but what they are saying is if you look to the past, have you gone on this path for quite a while where when it's time for you to step up, you either get intimidated or you question yourself or doubt yourself and something within you that triggers your defense mechanism comes up and you stay still. And it could be out of fear. It could be because you feel like you're not capable of doing it. Or it could be that you just refuse um, to change certain aspects about how you view or how you take not only partnerships or relationships, but business, how you make money. Um, are you a spender? Are you, you know, do you uh, live above your means? And if that's the case, what Spirit is telling you here is you got, you got to stop doing that. You're getting opportunities and opportunities are coming to you. But if you keep on this toxic path or not seeing things for what they really are or living above your means, etc., or even deceiving people, deceiving people to help you out with the seven of swords, you got to be honest with yourself because all of that comes out are, you know, you can try to hide, you can try to keep things, you know, from other people knowing, but at the end of the day, everything comes to light. Um, now keep in mind, if this is a relationship, uh, it could be vice versa. It is a general reading, but take the message for what it is with the seven of swords. Be mindful of either you deceiving other people or, other people deceiving you and you refusing to see them really for what they are. Now, with this card here, with this rune, this speaks about love and relationships, but it also speaks about defense and protection or getting justice. Um, and, and again, we go back to that of righteous anger, fighting back, protecting what you cherish. Um, but this could be vice versa, you guys. So it could represent, in retrospect, this is Thor's hammer. So it's about protection, but it also speaks about justice. And justice could be justice for us, or it can also represent justice for those that lend a hand or have lent a hand in the past, and you haven't been completely honest, and then the truth comes out. So just be careful with that. All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you some type of insight, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.